It is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I'm here to help. Today we're going to go in more into Excel and talk about your page layout options. Now these are right here where your page layout tab is. We have home, insert, tab, uh, <laughs> home, insert, page layout. These are your tabs. Um, under the page layout you have some options for how to set up your page. Now, this right now is blank. What I have done is I've typed in a few things so we can work with this together. One of them is top 10 roller coasters in the US and top 10 roller coasters in the world. The second one is all about top online shopping sites. Now, these are all pretty much made up, although the shopping sites might not be made up, I'm not sure. And the 50 states obviously is not made up. They are for real here in the United States and from A to Z. So let's start with our roller coasters. Now one of the things you're going to need to think about are your margins. Your margins are right here under page layout and normal or the default setting is 0.75 for the top, 0.75 for the bottom, 0.7 for the left and 0.7 for the right. If you want that you leave it alone. If you want it to be a little more wide of a margin, now remember the margin is the blank space that is around your text. So if you want a wider, which means less space for your text, then you can change it to the wide setting or the narrow setting, which leaves your margin smaller, gives you more space for text. And then, and that would be the 0.75 for top and bottom and 0.25 for the left and right. Or you can go into custom margins where here you can adjust it yourself. Now you can only go so um, narrow, which means, you know, smaller numbers. It won't allow certain numbers, but it will tell you. Right here you can center your information on the page. You can center it horizontally, vertically, or both, which I have right here set up to be both. Okay, if you don't have it centered on the page, it will just butt up right against your margins. So, and it may touch your margins either way, it depends on how much information you have. I'm going to say okay. I'm going to actually probably leave it, we'll go wide. There's not much here, but we'll see what that looks like. Now, another thing you have up here is your orientation. Now, orientation has to do with which way on the page your information is going. So portrait, your page is going to be more um, up and down, kind of like uh, a normal book would be read, is in portrait. Landscape is more at where the paper is turned on its side. So, uh, like I said, look at the pictures. It'll show you exactly what which way text will be and how the paper will be arranged. You have to decide what is going to look best for whatever it is you have typed up. Now what I have typed here probably look better with landscape just because there's a lot more information going side to side than there is up and down. Now if we want to see what that looks like we can just come up to our file, print, and it's showing us what it looks like. Now, right now, I, I had the scale to fit on. I turned it off so that you can see what it will look like when you originally go in. There's so much information that is going on to two pages. We will fix that in just a moment. Cancel. Okay, now, that is the next thing that we're going to talk about is what is it that we want to print? Now, it's assuming that we want to print everything, but let's say you didn't want to print all of this. Whatever it is you want to print, you're going to highlight it. So I'm going to highlight, I'll highlight all of it to start, and then I'll show you how you can change that. So I'll highlight it, and I come up to print area, and I select set print area. That is telling Excel exactly what I want to print on this sheet. Now, when I click out, you're going to see a blue dotted line, and you're going to see, now there's a second blue dotted line here, because it's telling you that is a page break. So it's letting you know, oh, you have a lot of information here, 
And I understand you want to print all the way to the bottom, but it's not all going to fit on one page. Now, if you come down here to page layout, it's right next to your zoom, bottom right corner here. Right now you are in normal view. The next button over is your page layout view. There we go. Take a second. It shows you your header and if you scroll, well, if you scroll down, it shows you your footer. That's if you wanted to put one of those in there. But it's showing you how things are set up. It's going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Now, if you go back into your file print, you can fix. You don't need to have it be a tiny bit on the second page. We can scale it so that it will fit on one page one page wide by one page tall. So we're saying, hey, we want it all on one page. And now it is, there's only one page. Now in here you'll see, you can also change your orientation. So you can do it in here as well. Right now we have it as landscape. If we click here, it's changing it to portrait. But like I said, landscape would be better for this particular project. I'm going to cancel to close out of there. That's just showing our preview. Now let's say we only wanted to print part of this. Let's say we only wanted the top 10 roller coasters in the U.S. Okay, I'm just going to highlight only that. And we're going to come back up to our print area and set print area. Now when I click out, let me zoom back in here. doesn't want to show us our <laughs> it doesn't want to show us anymore that's so funny well it should have showed us a blue dotted line like we just saw set maybe we clear and set am I just going blind I don't see a blue line that's all right. What we can also do is go into our file print. And now we're seeing exactly what we're going to print, which is only the top 10 roller coaster roller coasters in the US. So you'll get to see it regardless. Now I can take off the scale because most likely there's not that information, not much information. It will fit on one page. So I took my scaling off and now it is just the size that I had it. Scaling it is going to probably shrink it down a little bit if you're trying to get it to fit to one page. Cancel. Oh, there's our blue line. Boy, I just was playing hide and seek on us. Okay, now let's move on to our online shopping. Now, we I showed you where the heading headers are. But the headings are the letters up top here, the column headings, and the row heading. Now, if you want to have that printed, maybe you are trying to have this as a project for somebody, and you want to have it printed so they know exactly where to type things in. Who knows? Whatever your reason is, right up top here, and I'm still under page layout, all the way to the right, you're going to see grid lines and headings. Grid lines are these lines that you see here. Right now we have them so that we can see them. We don't have them to print, but we have them to see. If we take away this check mark, we can no longer see them. If we click print, now you see that nothing happened here. That's because the view is not on. We can't see them on the screen, but you can see them here with the print. And this is set up to be portrait, but I think for this one, I'm going to also want it to be landscape. And I'll take away the scaling because this doesn't need it either. There's not that much information. So you can see there's lines here. I hope you can see that. But you can't see them here. That is because our view is off, but our print is on. I'll put the view back on. 
Now the headings, remember, are the letters and the numbers at the top here and on the side. Right now we can view them. If I take away the view, you can no longer see them. If I want to print them, and I'll put the view back on, but if I want to print them, I click on print, and then once again, when you go back into your print preview, you will see them, and of course, it's really tiny, and I'm sorry, I wish I could zoom in for you, but they are here and down here. Let me cancel out. And that is if you wanted to print them. Now, our print right now, since we have not set up a print area, is fairly large. So you can see there's a lot of space. You can see this blue line. There's a lot of space around what I have typed that I could fit on a page because this is where our page break is. So if I don't need all that space, maybe I just want to tell it, you know, I only want this printed. I will highlight it, come up to our print area, and set print area. And now our blue line, dotted line, is around just what we have highlighted. I go back into my print preview. Sometimes you go in print preview a whole lot. That's okay. That is okay. Sometimes you gotta do that until you get it all situated the way you like it. Now, you saw that, let me go back in there real quick. You saw, maybe you didn't, I'll show you now, but it is up here in the corner. There's a lot of blank space. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. If you don't and you want it centered, you'll just come back into your margins. And down here is your center on page, and we can center it. Okay, why are we having a hard time here? Am I frozen? I wonder if I have to. Okay, margins, custom. There it is. I had to highlight it first. Okay. Um, I can have them both. Click OK. And now when you go back into your, hello, too fast for it, print preview, now you can see it is nice and centered on the page. And you don't have to do center horizontally and vertically. I just thought that looked nice. Okay. Cancel out of that. I'm going to take this print off because I don't, I don't usually print this, the headings. Sometimes maybe if I want a student to see exactly where I want them to type something, yeah, I would do that, but generally if I'm just printing something out, I don't need it. That is your grid lines, your headings, and um, your orientation, your margins. Now let's come over here to our 50 states. There's a lot, you know there's 50. That is a lot of states. Let's talk about page width. Now, first of all, let's highlight everything that we want to print. What I like to do is come down to the bottom right corner and start there because what happens is if you have a lot like this, unless you zoom really far out, then if you're trying to highlight, it might get away from you and then you're like, oh no, where'd it go? And then you try to come back up and you lose it there and then you come back down. So Unless you have a really good steady hand with the mouse, you might lose it a little bit. So, what I like to do is come down to the bottom. This is, you know, like I said, if you're not real familiar with this, I find this to be the great way to start out with highlighting. Click at the bottom right corner of what you're wanting to highlight, and then you just go up because it can't go any higher than this corner. So it's going to stop you right there. I want all this to be in my print area, so I'm going to set my print area. There's my lovely blue line. Now as I go up, I'm probably going to see, there it is, my page break. Telling me, you know, you just got a lot of information there. But that's okay. Now, our page width right here, still under page layout. Page width, you can set it to be what you want. 
Maybe you want your page width to be one page. Your page height. Again, same idea. You can have one page. Now in doing that, this is also known as scaling. Same idea. So if I go into my, jeez, oh, getting clicker happy here. If I go into my print preview, scale to fit. You see how it's selected? That's because I went here with my width and height, width and height, and changed it here. I scaled it on the outside here. You can scale it in either place. Same thing. I said one page width and one page tall or one page height. Same thing. So now all of it's here. Now probably for this I want to have portrait. There we go. I'm just curious. No, nope, it would be four pages if I did not scale it. <laughs> and that's because not only is it so long, but it's wide. So I definitely need to scale it if I want all of it on one page. Now if you're okay with, let's see, if you're okay with um, your information being on two pages as far as because of how long it is, well then you can probably get away with just scaling the width because you probably don't want to split that up. That kind of be a little hard to read. Let me go back into print preview. Here's my 50 states. I have scaled to fit one page width. So all my information is here width wise, but zero pages tall, which means it's just going to go and go however many pages, which is only two. So if you're okay with that, and you might not be because there's headings up here, not to be confused with these column headings, but there's headings up here, state, capital, state abbreviation, state nickname. Okay, that's, you know, that might be something you want on both pages, but page setup brings you back into here. Now you have page, again, orientations in here. Your scaling is in here, just another way of adjusting. You can adjust percent wise, or you can adjust to fitting a certain number of pages with by a certain number of pages tall. First page number, okay. Margins, centering it on the page. Header and footer, you can go in here to do it, or you can come down here to this other preview, uh, not preview, um, the other layout, which is your page layout. This was your normal view, page layout view. And you can do your header in here. You can put your name at the top. You can have at the bottom page number. And you can come up here to header footer and put in, where are you? There you are, page number. So let me go back to normal view. I'm a big fan of normal view. Here we are. Let's see. Oops, where was my page layout? Page setup. So you can see it's even in here now. Name, page number, and it's even showing you what it will look like. Page number one. You can just decide if you want different odd and even pages for where your headers and footers go. Different first page, so the first page will be different than the rest. Scale with document, or you can leave it as is or align it with the page margins. And then you have sheet. Now, if you wanted, now remember I was talking about how this top here, maybe you want this on both pages. So rows to repeat at top. I'm gonna click this little corner here, and I'm gonna select what it is I want to have repeated at the top, these top two rows. I'm gonna come back in here, see how it says one and two? Hopefully you see that. Dollar sign one to dollar sign two. That's just saying you want rows one and two. If you want columns to repeat on the left, you would select this little corner here and highlight what it is you want to repeat. I don't want to repeat any columns, but I do want to repeat the top rows. Here's our grid line options, our printing options with grid lines. If I want black and white, draft quality, Row and column headings, that's the headings I was talking about before. If I had any comments, comments is going to be a whole other video. 
But if I had any comments, I can decide if I want them at the end of the sheet or displayed on the sheet where they're at. Page order, down and then over, or over and then down. I'm gonna say okay here. Now, let me get, I don't wanna go home, I wanna to go to file. Now, I'm sorry, I wanna go down to print for my print preview. And now I should see that this has repeated at the top. Hopefully you can see that. I really don't like how tiny this is. It's so hard to see. But, I mean, even I'm having trouble seeing it. <laughs> and I'm right here. You might have even more trouble. But you can kind of see that it says top 50 states. I do see my heading up here. It's really not in the most ideal place. It's right on top of my title. But, again, you don't have to have one. But anyway, the part where it says state, capital, state abbreviation, and nickname are red. You can see the red right here. Let me move this up a little again. And now if I click, go to page two, oh, and then right down here you see page number. Down here at page two, you can see all this is up here again. So maybe you're okay with two pages, or maybe you have so much that you'd rather have two pages rather than it being teeny tiny print. Because like I said, it's going to shrink it so that it will fit to however you want. That's what the scaling is for. So if you don't like how tiny the print gets, you can leave it alone, have two pages, and just have certain things repeated, whether it be columns or rows. All right. And that pretty much is our Printing options, our page setup. Here we are again. Print titles. That's the same thing here when I repeated it. So if you want, <laughs> I don't know why they have that button here. It's the same thing as page setup. But uh, if you wanted to go specifically to that, uh, it's a little faster, I suppose. It takes you directly there. Right, here's our print area. If you wanted to select your print area this way, you can click in this corner and highlight what it is you want to print. Now we've already done that, so we don't have to do it again. But that is the same thing as highlighting it and going to here, print area, set print area. Same thing. Same thing. If you just happen to be in here and you hadn't set your print area, you can set it up in there. Your page breaks, you can insert a page break where you want it to be. Maybe you want to split this up a little bit more evenly. Or you can take a page break out. See, right now, here's our page break. So maybe we want it to be a little higher. So we want to insert page break right here. So let's see what that did. We're going to go back into our print preview. We are going to go to page two. Hmm, could have gone a little higher even. Oh, could have gone a little higher, yeah. But if you wanted to even it out, you can kind of figure out where the 25th state is, let's see, what, what column, row did we start? We started on row three. So it wouldn't be 25, it would be, tw what, 27 maybe? Let's try that. Uh, break, insert. Let's see if I'm correct in my math. <laughs> oh, it kept the other page break, I'm sorry. <laughs> It helps if I remove this one. Goodbye, page break, remove. All right, let's go back in there, sorry about that. Forgot to remove the other one. Okay, two pages, yeah, that's more evenly spaced. So if you wanted to make it more evenly spaced, you could do that. All right, so that's your page layout. Hopefully I've helped. You could do themes over here if you wanted to. Um, if you really want to get crazy with it, you could select that. Uh, don't know if you really need to, but, but, um, that'd be entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. Your colors. Got all sorts of colors you could pick from. Leave a comment down below if you 
have something specific you'd like me to um, show you, or maybe you're confused by something I did in this video, I'll be glad to do a second video to maybe dive a little deeper into it or explain it a little bit better for you. And um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it will let you know exactly when I put out a new video. Since I am new here, I am setting out new videos, and so if there's something you haven't seen yet, let me know what you want to see, or you can just have the subscribe button. I'd love to see all who all my viewers are. And, uh, of course, thank you for watching. And uh, click the like button if you really like what I've done here. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.